How do we get from this raw render to this atmospheric image? My name is Nikolai, I'm doing architectural images since 10 years now and I want to share my knowledge with you guys and give you some insights on how I develop an image concept. I want to show you how I define a color palette and create atmosphere using the right composition. Okay, let's jump right in. Let me show you how I came up with the composition and the color palette for this image. A good way to start your image is by making a quick sketch by hand. In this example I just used a very rough early state of the model and started to paint the environment and the foreground to create some kind of balance and depth. So how did I came up with this exact composition and placing of the buildings? Let me first turn off the foreground for now. You can see that the image is looking quite nice also without the foreground. This is because the composition follows the rule of thirds here. Let me show you by activating this grid. I placed the two foreground buildings on the lines which creates two focus points in the image that your eye is automatically looking at. As you can see the image is also divided in three parts horizontally. There's the sky, the buildings and the foreground. The overall feeling is balanced and the buildings are sitting nicely in the canvas surrounded by the environment. So what happens to the image if we add a foreground element? You can immediately see that the perception of the image is changing. You as an observer get the illusion that you're really standing inside of the image. You will read the image differently because your eye movement gets a direction. Let me show you how this works. Your eye will jump back and forth between the trees and the buildings. This way you create an illusion of depth in your image. While you will read the image only from left to right or right to left if you don't have this foreground element. Also composition wise the three trees kind of counterbalance the buildings. By looking at the values of the image you can see that the vignette adds up to this direction of the viewer. The foreground is darker and your eye will naturally move toward the brighter parts of your image. Ok, let's have a closer look now on the atmosphere and color scheme of the image. Our color palette is reduced to the greens in the vegetation, light blues in the sky and the fog and we have the facade, trees and foreground that comes with a brownish purple color, also some yellowish highlights. Let's just concentrate on the color by switching off the values. This is the color only without any dark or bright values. You can see that the color of the facade is being mirrored in the trees and the mud on the ground. This way our building blends in very well. So why did I choose this color scheme and came up with that atmosphere? I always work with some reference images before I start the concept sketch. I can get a feeling of what I want to achieve on the image. There are some elements here that you should recognize from the image. The wooden facade in contrast to the grass, also the bluish looking fog and the overall atmosphere of this foggy morning is there. It helps if you really be specific on the atmosphere that you want to create. Imagine an exact time and day for example. In my case I was thinking of a Sunday morning, maybe it rained all night and now we have this fog sitting all over the place. The fog is another element that backs up the concept of the image. It creates atmosphere and if I turn it off, you can see that the fog is also important to create depth in the image. It helps to separate the buildings in the front from the buildings in the back. So it will be easier to read them as single buildings. So now that we defined the composition and the color scheme, how do we bring everything together? In this example, I only model the buildings in 3D the complete environment was matte painted using photos. So let's turn on the grass layer that is basically color corrected and made a little bit darker in the foreground. If you want to follow along inside Photoshop you can also download the PSD file. Link is in the description. For the sky I added this brighter area on the left to give some hint where the light is coming from. Let's add this piece of walkway on the bottom left to give some orientation where we stand. For the background plate I just needed to retouch it a little bit and bring down the brightness and saturation. Also add a little fog to blend it with the sky and create more depth. Same here with the bench cutout, just made it darker and less saturated. 
The fog was made out of little pieces that adds variation to the fog, so that it looks as natural as possible. You can use photo reference for convincing results here. I added some more contrast to the buildings to bring it more into focus. Also I added some fog again just by using a soft brush to blend it into the sky and to create depth. I also added this tree to make the visual separation between the background building and the building in the front stronger. For more seamless integration I added some vegetation on the bottom of the building. The trees in the foreground are three separate colors. I basically made them darker and gave them some kind of light wrap. Now we only need to make the final color and light adjustments to bring the image closer to our reference. Of course when creating images this process is not as linear in reality. This is just for you to get a feeling of how the elements in the image come together. In practice you might need several attempts to create the atmosphere you were aiming for. It's also a matter of practice and your visual memory. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.